Hi, I'm Real Genetic Demon, and this is Forever Winter. Okay, Forever Winter is really just an alpha game at the moment, but it's just so worth looking at because it's beautiful. And by, by alpha, I mean at the moment they've got some performance issues with people who haven't got um, solid state drives. Um, they've got a few issues with graphical issues. There's a few, there's a few problems. There's a few glitches at the moment. The AI is a bit, bit, a bit off. It's, it's, it's. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm talking it down here, but I'm not. Don't mean to. I'm just saying that this current. When you're looking at this, this is one of the alpha builds. But it was basically the developers wanted to get the game out because the early, the early feedback was that everybody was enjoying it a lot. So let's push the button and we'll go into it. Right now, I've already done the training and I don't know if it'll fall through again when it does it. Um, uh, this will dismiss all active quests when you, yeah, when you do the training again. So, 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 um, I'm going to go into innards right now, but as you can see, the graph. I mean, look at the graphics. Right? I know it's just a, it's just a, that's a, um, you know, some sort of uh, video playing, but this is what you're going to get within the game. So um, you're going to have to play along with me here because I've only played it for a couple of hours. I've been r absolutely rubbish, and it terrifies me. Yeah, the the whole idea of the game terrifies me. You are not the hero of this game. Um, you are not. Um, the 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 big guy with the guns. You are a scavenger in a planet which is ravaged by war between the Europans, the Ruskans, and I can't remember what they call the Eurasians as well. Uh, basically, they've all they've all they've all gone to they've all gone to war together against each other, and and it it's it's dreadful it's horrible but you are a scavenger you have a level on what's known as the innards the innards being what's left of the cities um and that level can be built up by you by running through well a series of missions effectively you the more you do these missions that the more you can build on your um sort of internal bits and pieces i love the attention to detail with the fact that it's some kind of old school computer programming down the side as you go through the whole thing and there we are i'm i'm my character now um, my water reserve is running very low because water is one of the key components to keeping the units running. So, so yeah, it, it is. It is pretty. It is pretty bad. But this is sort of my level, um, and the people who have decided to live here live here because I can provide water. Um, so let's just bring up this here to look at this quest menu. Menu first off. So we got quests. I've currently got a quest active at the moment. Well, sorry, one that I've completed, which was to basically um, explore. Um, I've got one day of water remaining. I've now got this one that I'm currently on at the moment, which is to basically bring back a barrel of water to the innards. I, I don't even know where to find a barrel of water, um, but this is the one we're on currently. Um, you can have a squad, which because you can have up to four people playing together. The, the developers again have developed this game where you can play it locally on your machine. If they if they ever stop developing the game or they disappear completely, you can still play the game. It's not. It's they they they're, they're not going with these horrible live service games that don't work after a, a, a length of time. You can actually choose, and there's people there playing at the moment, all playing on one one sort of people by themselves. You've got regions, we've got a number of maps that are open so far. We've got uh, the, the Scorched Enclave, which is where we're working at the moment. The Elephant Mausoleum. The Mech Trenches, that's in progress. Um, I think that's that where I was, was that where I was meant to be. In progress, Elevator. Bring back a barrel, yeah, that's the one I'm on now. So that's the one I'm in the moment. So I've got to go to the mech trenches and I've got to bring back a barrel of water from the mech trenches. That's the one I've got to do. So so we've also got the, 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 the scrapyard nexus, the ashen mesa. Um, they're just absolutely stunning. Now all these maps are going to be free. They're going to continue to do that for free, the developers. They've decided to make a, a real choice here. The choice they've made is everything's going to be free. The only thing you'll ever have to pay for is new cosmetics for your characters so that's it so the skins for them they all the character new characters will be automatically free all the maps will be automatically free they're just basically and i i don't disagree with the the, the idea of taking a small amount of money this goes along the, the lines of other games that have followed this process for instance 
uh, Euro Truck Simulator, they charge for huge extensions to their maps, but it's only after you've, you know, it's about basically every year you pay a tenner. Uh, or, or about 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 fifteen, uh, about twelve dollars, you know. So, so yeah, support them that way. They've one price, you get everything you want. Um, I'm just flipping through things here. We've got vendors; they sell various things, and you can sell various things to them. One of the vendors seems to have disappeared for the moment, though. Um, uh, you've got the characters in the game; they all look really interesting. I like this one though; it looks like a droid. Um, I am playing Bagman. Um, I've got you build up skills for this character here and then you can increase your carrying capacity you've got your combat loadout um this is me currently um fiddled to the brim with stuff um which i don't really need so i'm going to transfer some of this back so i'm going to transfer that away and transfer that food this is me because i escaped earlier i've got a few things here i've got a few optics and things like that for weapons um we're going to get rid of some of this stuff though we don't need that many rounds of ammo There, we're going to get rid of some of the ammo. I'm going to get rid of some of these optics and things like that. We'll we'll have a little adjustment of our weapons in a second. Um, let's get rid of this. Uh, we don't have one of those. We don't have one of those. We don't have one of those. We've only got four rounds of uh, of uh, twelve gauge left. I'm going to get rid of those. Some jumper cables. That's worth some value of money. Advanced. Bits and pieces. Receiver for a gun. We haven't got that ammo anyway. Haven't got that ammo. Haven't got that one. Let's get rid of these bits and pieces here. And the rest of them are health, by the way. These are health things. Oh, and I've got some explosives, which I'll get rid of. Right, okay. So we're going to have a little look, and we're going to adjust. See if we can adjust my current weapon. See if there's anything we can do with it. Uh, is it this one to adjust? I can't remember. Rigs, consumables. Can I alter them? Is it here that I do the change? I can't remember. Uh, I need some more rounds anyway. Ah, oh, there we go. Customise at the bottom. Right, we need some more rounds anyway. So what I'm going to do is consumables. I'm going to take... No. Ammo. I'm going to go to the shotguns. There we go. I'm going to take some more 12 gauge with me. That takes... That's uh, pretty much... I've got quite a few, actually. Let's take a few more 12 gauge. Because I find 12 gauge shotguns pretty, pr pretty useful, actually. I'll be honest. They are pretty useful. Let's have a look at the customization, see if we can do anything. There's nothing I've got in customization for that one. Let's have a look at, go back to all the weapons and then go back to my um, sort of AK-47 type thing. Let's look at the customizations for this. I may be able to get some other stuff onto here. There's a grip I think I can put on. I can change the grip for grip A and grip B. We'll stick with grip B. Stock. Have I got a new stock? We've got colored stocks. I've got the more expensive stock. It tells you the recall differences, by the way, if you do that. I'll keep the stock on there. Gas tube, muzzles. We'll stick that muzzle on. That's good. We've equipped that there. Stick with that barrel. Stick with that under assembly. Uh, and we have a slightly bigger magazine. So let's go with the bigger magazine. Right. Let's save the changes. Right. Back. Excellent. Back to combat loadout. So we've now got that one there, which we want to pop in this slot here. 40 rounds, so we've got more ammo there that we can shoot off at only one time. Okay, excellent. We're ready to go now. So so as I say, you can sell things to these, these guys as well. You can sell bits and pieces. They will buy um, items. So so for instance, that's a junk one. Good, good for trading. Yeah, we'll trade that. We'll sell that. Gets us more money. Yes. Tin of food, mystery food, can be a small amount of health. Not going to sell this because it's very useful. Tactical camera, uh, explosives, um, worth quite a lot of money, actually. And MREs, which boost your food, your, your, your food a little bit. So there's lots of things you can do 
and lots of things that they they sell so for instance there's a pack of 10 of those for for 500 credits which is which is which is nothing because i've got 38,000 credits are really easy to get in the game at the moment actually the hardest thing is i'll be honest is the uh, is is getting uh, is getting water which is what we're trying to do now so we're going to enter i can't remember which map it was we were entering but whatever map we were entering we're going to enter there now and 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 go for it now wait until you see the graphics i think you'll like this i, I think i think this is this 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 is what you're waiting for. It is, as I say, you are not, you are definitely not the hero in this. You are, you are a scavenger and you are just trying to survive day to day. And that's it. That's all there is to it. You carry a rig round. You don't want to get involved in combat. It makes it terrifying, I'll be honest. Just a sup of coffee there while I'm waiting for it to load. So, um, we're looking for some water so on the map there at the top if you look at the little um bits and pieces there's there's those are ex those are extractions so that's where we leave but look at this look at the world we live in yeah exactly and uh, we're gonna move down here we've got we've got a way to do consumables and help ourselves we can duck we can move slowly I'm trying to find, there's no maps unfortunately for the game, you don't have a map in the levels to say, oh there's your water, so it's it really is down to you. Now the chap who created these maps, uh, he worked on Horizon Zero Dawn, um, I think you might have heard of that game, um, and a few others, it, it's, that was one of his map designs, they're all veterans of the, of, of the industry. Oh, I'm trying to get up there, it's not very, going very well. It's not, I'm not climbing up there. It's an old tank, this. No. It's just blocking the way. Just a little too much. Can't quite get up there. Right, okay, let's go this way then. I don't want to, but we're going to go to this way. Ooh, look at that. There's a, we just want to stay out of the way. There's an old tank there, look. I want to stay out of the way. They're coming my way. I'm going up. They're coming my way. I'm going up. Let's go up. What is it? Oh, it's, a tro it's a, some troops. Look. You see them? There. I don't really want to tangle with them. They won't. They'll, they should leave me alone if I. They'll fight amongst themselves as well. You stay alive, by the way, by not shooting in this game. One of the biggest things to do is avoid combat where possible. If you can sneak a kill to get some loot, great. But otherwise, forget it. This is not a game for killing. This is you are not. You are not that guy. Those guys. You are a. Look at the state. Look at the, the the graphics in here. It's beautiful. You are not one of them. You are very much just a piece of the scenery. You don't even matter. You know, you're not. You're barely. You're, ba you're barely human to these people. It's a war that's been raging for so long. Nobody knows how it started. Why it started. Look at the blood on the floor. Blood. Blood. Blood things. It's, there's, there's a wonder if there's some food in here. There's some water in here. I really desperately need some water for my 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 people. Oh, nice. I just think that's bodies, you know. Oh, looks like a cook. look at this. Oh, oh god. We're walking on blood bags. Nothing there. Swap back to my my uh, AK forty seven. I can hear something. Medical supplies. Let's see what we got. Yep, 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 yep. Food. Took 
a few of those things there when looting it. Not all of it. I don't think I need all of it. What's this? Something around that corner. There's a storage thing here. Let's loot it. That's a new magazine. I've got a B grade one already. And some MREs. Take some of them. I think there's a way to look at your backpack. Yeah, there it is. I'm almost at capacity. I've got space for one large slot. I'm playing on a controller. It's probably better on a mouse and keyboard, but I am on a controller. Don't know what that is, but it's loot. Let's go have a look slowly. I really don't want to get into trouble here with anybody. I find it really nerve-wracking, I'll be I'll, I'll be honest, I find the whole thing really, really nerve-wracking. Oh, some cybernetic implants, obviously. Oh, bit of glitch in there. I can hear... I can hear. I can hear them nearby, but I don't know where they are. Can you? You can hear the, the. Uh, I don't really want to get into trouble with anybody. There they are. Or down there. Do you see it scoot past really fast? There are mechs in this game, a bit sort of robotic. Um, I think that's the Asian side that's got that, the Euro, Euro, Eurasians. Explosives. I don't want explosives. Ammunition. I'll take what we've got. Subsonic. Still just creeping around here, loot, loot, ammunition. Let's have a look at what else we got in here. 12 gauge. We'll take some of those. Still got to find a bottled barrel of water. What's this? Explosives. All in day's work. That's gone into the bottom of my backpack, by the way. It's worth a lot of money. Do I really want to open this? I don't know if I want to open this, but we're going to do it anyway. Oh, shit. There's a robot there as well. They ran past me and they didn't see me. There's a war there's a fight going on down the bottom there, I can see flashing of lights. I'm I'm going this way. This isn't good, this. This is not good at all. This is horrible. I find this whole thing... I do find this quite nerve-wracking, you know. I, I really don't want to get into involved with a, anybody fighting. I don't really don't want to. What's this? I don't have a torch either. I really need a torch, I think. I don't think there's a torch. Yeah. That was me pressing a button for thinking there was a torch there, but there isn't. Yeah. 
Yeah, that looks safe, doesn't it? I think I'm gonna go this way. You know, it's the noise I'm making as well. That's an important factor in this. I'm quite on the edge actually playing this. Because I don't know what's around the next corner. Oh my god, that's the bottom of this pile of... Bits, bodies... Glistening in the... the, the, the oh, lovely. Big piles of human Golok skulls. Nice. Not what we really want. I'm, and I don't even know if I'm moving towards extraction at the moment, but... What I am moving towards... Another storage thing. <sighs> sneaky, sneaky. Another door. Let's see if there's some water down here. We need this for, our, for my units. I need to bring back a barrel of water for the units. Yeah, right. This is this is fun. Wow, chunks of corpses. It's like a grinder. It's a machine for grinding it all up. Ooh, nasty. Walking on bones and and gore. What's this? Is this a door I can open? No. I don't think I can. It's seriously creepy. I mean that's the thing. It's 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 that future. It's it's like some it's like the Terminator or whatever else is. I think they 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 they're very much um Inspired by 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 Warhammer and the the oh was there something you collect there? The grim dark wasn't it? The grim dark future. What did I use there? This is a button that says use. This is a worrying one though. When I open this, somebody's going to come. Maybe not. Yeah, right, okay. There's a mech there, do you see it? They don't, they're, they're, as I say, they're not really interested in me. Unless I disturb them. Let's have a little look. Let's see what else we can do. Our mech is probably not in... I'm creeping. I'm going upwards. Hopefully there's nobody up. Wow. I'm, as I say, I'm quite, quite, it's quite scary. The music, of course, is quite nice there. It's just sort of kicked in when this is going on. Look at that thing. Not really interested in me though. Is 
Also alle rohe Kerne. That is an auto cannon beside me. I don't know how to, I don't know what to do with this. Shit. Do I need to go down and avoid this thing? I can't I think that'll kill me if I go near it. Look at the level though. Look at the design. Look at the the the, the gargoyles up above. Look at it. Oh. Hey, you keep going that way, I'll go this way. down there now. Can you stay over there please? Shit, there's a robot behind me. There's something here. Go on, shoot him. Wrong side. Oh no, it isn't. It's got it. We've got a little, few little glitches there. Where did I come out of? I think it was down here, wasn't it? Going back in here. I'm going back in here, people. It's terrifying. And it's the quietness of the that I'm, 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 while I'm playing it. My nervousness of the about the whole process. There's another door up here. Let's try this one. How the hell do I get out of here safely? And another door over here. I don't know if it'll open or not, but we'll give it a try. See, it's recognisable backgrounds as well, though. So you you do you do know where you've been previously. Uh oh. Don't come to me. I don't want you to. See whether or not I, 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 I stirred the, the hornet's nest. I can hear that mech outside still. Yeah, me opening the door kind of disturbed them. They woke them up there. I could probably sneak up on him and break his neck, but... What would that do with all the rest of them around there, though? Probably turn them into a frenzy of... Oh, this is bad. Shit, the mech's there. Right, okay, so that's that works well. Uh, uh yeah, let's go back to the top. Not finding any water thus far either. I think we're gonna my the innards will die if I don't find water. That's the big issue with the innards. So if I don't find water Everybody I know dies. 
yeah, it's a bit of a bit of no, no pressure then, as they say. Um, let's have a little look up here again. Back, this is I think this is the way I came in, if I remember rightly, when we first went through the innards. Yeah, this is the way we went in through this 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 gloriously soaking wet tunnelly bit. Right. Okay. Let's go out. Let's have a let's have a scav somewhere around here then instead. Let's try and avoid. See what we can find. Something fizzing up there. What's in here? Oh shit! Troops. Storage. if I can climb up here. Yes. Yes, I can. Oh that's good. I didn't I didn't think that would be the case, but yeah you can you can we can we can we can we can get above stuff. That's a, that's just a a, a a box to examine. bit of health. I think they're behind that wall. Oh, there's a big button to bloody open it though, isn't there? I don't want to open it really. They're there. Fuck. Two mechs. Come on, guys. Fuck off. I mean, <laughs> go away. <laughs> Are they stuck? No, they're not stuck. They're climbing out. They're going. Believe me. There we go. Bye. I was a little bit worried for a second there that we were in trouble. Might still be in trouble, you know. They still might still be loitering around here. Got a target on him. They're making my life very difficult here. We're on the clock, people. Kill him quick. Hell. Oh, 
I think this could go very badly wrong. They're all coming. I've got the whole army. I'll take a cigarette. Basic tools for trading, yes please. I'm dead, and that is how harsh Forever Winner is. I, honestly, it is it is one of those. It's an amazing game. I've lost all my loot and everything I've got. It's an amazing game. It's as I say, it's still in beta things. I mean, that's ridiculous. There, I've actually killed things. You don't normally kill things down with the AK-47. Um, it is. A really cracking game that really deserves a look at. I would suggest looking at some some videos and other things, not just mine, um, to get yourself a feel for what for what's involved. But but yeah, it is it's terrifying. <laughs> it's a very grim future where you uh, you literally are the only thing but standing between life and death is water and your runs into the the, the 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 levels the more you progress the more the levels expand it is very 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 good anyway i've been your host real tonight demon thank you for watching please feel free to like and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next video bye bye now